What is the 90-day FHA flip rule? This is the rule saying if someone is selling a home and you are using FHA financing to buy the home, then the seller must own it for more than 90 days. This might sound confusing, so let's dive into it and break it down. Knock Knock Yitzhak here, realtor and success coach, helping you get from where you are to where you want to be. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, then subscribe below and tap the bell icon for notifications so you can be the first to learn all about the latest and greatest information about real estate. I get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking to make a move, and I love helping. Whether you're looking to move in 9 or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, or schedule a Zoom call, and I'm happy to help you make your next move a smooth process. So let's talk about the 90-day FHA flip rule. If you're looking to buy a home using FHA financing, you should know about this rule. It says that if someone is selling a home and you're using FHA financing to buy it, the seller must have owned that property for more than 90 days. This rule was introduced in 2003 by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, to prevent property flipping. Property flipping is when someone buys a property with the intention of selling it for a profit within a short period of time, often within a few months. This can lead to artificially inflated property values, predatory lending practices which can harm unsuspecting home buyers. To prevent this, HUD introduced the 90-day FHA flip rule, which has several requirements. Firstly, only owners of record can sell properties that will be financed using FHA-insured mortgages. This means that to be eligible for an FHA-insured mortgage, the property must be purchased from the owner of record and the transaction may not involve any sale or assignment of the sales contract. This requirement applies to all FHA purchase money mortgages regardless of the time between sales, the time between resales. Secondly, if a property is resold within 90 days of the seller's acquisition, it's not eligible for an FHA insured mortgage. The seller must have owned the property for at least 90 days before it can be sold to someone using FHA financing. Thirdly, if the resale date is between 91 days and 180 days following the acquisition by the seller, and the resale price is 100% or more over the price paid by the seller, then the property, when the property was acquired, the lender is required to obtain a second appraisal made by another appraiser. This is to ensure that the property is not being sold at an inflated price, which can happen if there is collusion between the seller and the appraiser. Finally, if the resale date is more than 90 days after the date of acquisition by the seller, but before the end of the 12th month following the date of the acquisition, FHA reserves the right to require additional documentation from the lender to support the resale value if the resale value price is 5% or greater than the lowest sales price of the property during the preceding 12 months. These requirements are designed to prevent property flipping and other forms of predatory lending practices that can harm home buyers, particularly those using FHA financing. By requiring documentation to verify the seller's ownership and the property's value, FHA aims to ensure that home buyers are not overpaying for a property or taking on more debt than they can afford. So that's the 90-day FHA flip rule in a nutshell. If you're using FHA financing to buy a home, make sure that the seller has owned the property for at least 90 days and that the lender complies with all the requirements. 
I hope this information was helpful. And remember, whether you're thinking about moving in 9 or 90 days, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or schedule a Zoom call.